Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool naval ship telephone and this is the initial check out of this telephone and this is Petrie's telephone from Missouri and she had brought this telephone over with her husband the other day and we're going to go ahead and convert this telephone for home use and this is an A and E telephone basically and this telephone was taken from the uh, US uh, naval ship uh, the Des Moines and so it's basically a really cool piece and this gives you a little bit of a look at the telephone and it's very heavy it's encased in steel and so we're going to go ahead and do some initial checks on this telephone so we want to push the receiver in and then pull it out I want to give you a look at that very cool and then we have our A and E dial inside we want to go through that, oil it, make sure that it's racking off properly. But we did some initial checks with it already when they were in the shop when they brought this telephone in. And we know this telephone does dial, but we do want to oil it and make sure that everything is working properly. Now, the research that we have done on these, we never see a dial center ring card, informational card, and a ring in these telephones from the Navy on these Navy ships and I guess they figured uh, I'm assuming that they just didn't have them because they didn't feel that they needed that dial center ring card and there was no um, sense in having it on there but we are going to put a dial center ring on that uh, rotary in the A and E logo so it's a very cool telephone now I'm going to go ahead and open it up and show you the inside Okay, and it has a schematic inside. And everything seems to be here for this telephone. This kind of gives you the look of the inside here. It is the initial checkout. And we're going to run our line cord right out of this fitting here. So that way they will be able to plug this telephone in to a regular telephone jack and be able to talk on it, dial out. Uh, it will ring on an incoming call. We've already checked the bells. We know that the bell here works. And so we're just going to be uh, working towards getting this telephone converted for home use and so that they can simply plug it into any jack that they want and start using this telephone. This telephone will have to be mounted they're not sure how they're going to mount it yet. They may do a plaque situation where they can set this on a table and have it stand up. Or if you wanted to mount it, uh, there's some mounting holes here on the body, kind of in a T shape. And there's one back over here. So it's a very heavy telephone. And it's just a really cool piece of the history. and. You don't see too many of these. This was made by A&E. Uh, they, they're out there. They were on Navy ships, but you just don't see a whole lot of them. I don't think a whole lot of them ended up out in the public. So basically, we're just going to be working towards getting this telephone into working condition. And we will make sure that we uh, get some more video of this as we move along in the repair of it. So we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back.
Okay, we're back now, and I want to show you that we knew this telephone did not receive because we did an initial check of this telephone, and we knew it did not have a receiver capsule on the inside of the handset. But we also want to take care of a few other things here. We knew it had a transmitter and that it was transmitting, so we want to pop the transmitter out because what we want to do, since this is an original black cloth cord, and there's a little bit of fraying going on here, but other than that, the cord is in pretty good shape. So what we want to do is we want to pull the cord out of the handset, and we want to get some heat shrink on this uh, part of the cord to keep it from fraying any further and uh, keep the black line cord that came with it originally intact. So we'll kind of be working on that and, and uh, solving some other problems here that we have that we need to get into in, uh, into the repair process of this telephone. So we wanted to kind of give you a quick look at that and we'll get us a, a receiver capsule in here and then uh, we'll get that part of it straightened out and uh, we'll start working on the actual phone itself. So we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are finished up with this telephone. It has been converted and repaired. And so we want to run through a few things that we did to this telephone and then we want to do our final checks. But earlier in the video we talked about installing some heat shrink at the handset because this original cloth cord to the telephone we wanted to use it but we had a little fraying going on so that was repaired there we also installed some heat shrink on the entrance of the body of the telephone for the cloth cord and so that won't be an issue either uh, of fraying or anything like that uh, earlier in the video we showed that the receiver did not have a receiver capsule so we installed a receiver capsule. We also found that the transmitter in this telephone was a little too noisy. And they have uh, graphite crystals, carbon crystals, that they use in the older telephones. And they can become noisy and give a static sensation and things like that. And so we installed a newer transmitter, a newer T1, that took the place of the old one because the old one was too noisy and uh, we just figured it would be better to change it and there wouldn't be any issues. Uh, another thing that we installed was the dial center ring and card. So now it has a dial center ring, card, and plastic protective cover and it's in the A&E logo. So that's pretty cool. And like I said earlier in the video, the research that we did and the only pictures that we could find of this telephone when it was uh, out of a ship or in a ship basically did not have any dial center ring cards in them and I just am assuming that they figured they didn't need them so they just didn't use them um, and so usually if you see one of these that has a dial center ring and card it's probably because somebody installed it but uh, now we want to give you some dial tone here And we're going to dial our numbers, so if you watch the analyzer, we'll go through the numbers. And we took care of the rotary and got that oiled up and looked at. And uh, it was an adjustment, so we went ahead and uh, just cleaned it and oiled it. Another thing that we did was rewired parts of the telephone that we needed to rewire. We also added a six-foot line cord that can be plugged into any modular plug and just kind of went through various little um, tests that we need to do and uh, repairs. So I'm going to go ahead and walk through the rotary and dial our numbers. I'm going to end in a 2. Now what I want to do is I want to transmit into the handset. And if you watch this red light here on the analyzer, I'm going to go ahead and transmit into the handset. And every time you see that red light light, 
That's 100% modulation on transmit. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hello, hello. So we know that this telephone is transmitting, it's receiving, and it's dialing out. Now what we can do is ring the telephone. We'll go ahead and ring it. I'm going to let it go one more time because they're pretty cool sounding bells. We'll go ahead and give you some dial tone. And now what I want to do is I want to move the telephone over to a regular line. And we'll call a time and temp number. Give you some dial tone. Good evening. Offenberg St. Clair Auto Mall with five new car lines at one location in O'Fallon. Offenberg.com. Today is Thursday, December 20th. The time is 10.55. Current temperature, 37 degrees. Now the Belleville area weather forecast. Clearing late tonight, lows around 20 west winds, gusting as high as 50, diminishing after midnight. Sunny and blustery on Friday, a high in the mid-30s, northwest winds gusting to 30. Okay. We can call one other number. I'll just hang the hook switch up. Give you some dial tone. We'll call my number and it'll be busy. Now that we know that this telephone has been repaired and converted and it's finished up and ready to be used, we can get this telephone back to Mike and Petrie from Missouri that brought this telephone in. And from what I understand, like we said earlier in the video, that this telephone was taken off the Des Moines Navy ship. And uh, I believe it was a cruiser. And so, you know, it's just a really cool piece of the past. And I, I don't know anybody that wouldn't want this telephone. I've had several customers come in the shop while I was working on it. And uh, not only are phones mailed in from all over the world in the United States here, we have a walk-in. You know, they can come in and, uh, you know, have their drop their telephones off and be repaired. And everyone that has seen this telephone has wanted it. But I know that uh, Mike and Petrie would never give this up. I do believe it's their son's telephone, but uh, regardless, it's in the family, and uh, it's just uh, you know one of the coolest things that you could probably have. It's just a very neat item, and uh, you're just not going to see many of these. It's very unique, and uh, now that it's been repaired, they can enjoy this telephone. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www dot a one hyphen telephone dot com and you can also reach us at six one eight two three five six nine five nine. Thank you for watching and have a great day.